Let's take a look at target 30, graphing transformed parent equations. You guys, this really all comes down to finding, I mean, it even says it right here, find the locator point HK. As soon as we do that, then we're good to go. Uh, the key to this strategy, again, comes down to having a good parent graph toolkit note sheet. If you don't have a good note sheet, it's going to be very difficult because you'd have to have all of these kind of equations memorized. Because once we know the locator point, the HK, we can plug them in. And we can assume that our A values um, are 1. So here we go. Take a look at this. Well, they're giving us our A values here. So uh, find the locator point. Well, the locator point is going to be the H and the K, which are coming from here and here. So the locator this generates is a negative 2. This generates a negative 1. So my vertex of my absolute value graph, because I have absolute value bars, is going to be at negative 2, negative 1, and I can put the point. It's going to open down. That's what that says, down, negative. And a slope, because it's a straight line graph, is 1, 1, 1, 1. So I go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. So I'm going to diagonally cut through all of those, and I've got my full equation that looks like that. And there is my graph. Um, I should say my full graph. Next one is 1 over x. Ooh, 1 over x. That automatically means divide by x, which is a hyperbola. So it's going to be that curve, that high five that misses. So then I find the intersect. Well, what's with, there's no h down here. It's just plain old x. There's no 1 over x minus h is usually what I'm looking for, but there's nothing there. So that means it's a 0. And then there's a 2 out here for my k value. So the intersection of my asymptotes are going to be at 0, 2. So I go over 0 and up 2. I put a dot. And that's the intersection of my asymptote. So I immediately draw dotted lines because nothing can touch those lines or become those lines. That's the definition of an asymptote. And then this is a positive over here. So then I'm going to be in the upper right. Positive numbers are in the upper right for hyperbola curves. And so I do this. And then I do this down here because there is its mirror image buddy. And that's the high five that misses for your hyperbola graph. The last one down here chosen was a circle. And I look at it, oh, there's my h value, 1, there's my k value, negative 2, so that's the center. The center of my circle is at 1, negative 2. The radius, oh, is 9, but it's not 9 because I have to take the square root of it, so the radius equals 3. So I go to 1, negative 2, and I put a dot, and then I need a radius of 3. I need to find all the points that are 3 away, so I go 1, 2, 3 away, 1, 2, 3 away in every direction. 1, 2, 3 away over here, and 1, 2, 3 away down here. And then I just try to make a circle out of it. For me, I usually just turn my paper, and I just curve it. Right now I have a smiley face. And then I keep going, and I keep going around like this with curving each one of those spots. And I end up with something that looks pretty close to a circle. That's not too bad. And that's the way to do it. you got to find the locator point and use your parent graph toolkit notes. But it's all about finding the H and K.